Hey there, friends, and good morning, Papa. In today's video, we're going after another moth. No groaning in the back. I heard you back there. This one's going to be fun to go get. It's going to be quite an adventure, especially if you are Horde. Today, we are going after the gray moth. Now, I know you could just actually create a level one Draenei and come out here and just get it for yourself, but you know, what fun is that? Life is an adventure, so mount up and let's go. To get started, we are going to be in Kalendor, and you're going to head over here to the Azur Mist Isle. Now, these gray moths can be found anywhere around this area, it's pretty much scattered all over the map here. Now, if you are Alliance, go ahead and take the portal over here to Exodor and then just crawl up onto the aisle. Remember, you can't fly here, so you're going to be on the ground level on your ground mount. Give them some love. They probably don't get seen that often. But once you find a gray moth, go ahead and battle it business as usual. There's nothing special. I use the terrible turnip because it can't down it below one health. Throw it in a cage and then it is yours. Now, if you are Horde and you're like, I don't want to create a level one Draenei and come out here. Ew, poo on the Alliance. Well, let me show you how to get here. Now, if you are Horde, again, you want to start here uh, in Kalendor and you're going to head to the Dark Shore. Now, if the burning of Tidristil has happened, which it probably has, you're going to end up wanting to talking to the Keeper of Time that is located here. You can find some Dormy right here, and when you talk to her, she'll end up putting the tree back to before the burning of Tidrasil, and this is where our adventure is going to start. Be careful. Now that that's out of the way, go ahead and mount up on your bestest flying mount, and go ahead and fly across from the dark shore dark shore all the way over to Tidrasil and that'll end up allowing us to get our way over to Azur Mist Isle. I do want to note that while you're flying over here you will end up going into a fatigue zone but don't worry the gap between the two I land the, the two landmass if I can even say it is short enough that you're not going to end up getting any damage from your fatigue. And while we make our way over there, the fun fact for the gray moth is you can easily locate moths if you wear expensive garments near Amen Valley. They can't resist the delicious taste of high fashion. Who would have thought high fashion was so tasty? Once you have reached over here, you're going to head over to the dock that is located on the left of you. And there you'll end up finding a portal that'll take you over to Azure Mist Isle. Now you are going to end up having to do a smidgen of PVP here because there are guards that end up guarding this gate and it is inevitable. They're on this side and they're on the other side. So unless you're like super fast and super sneaky, just be prepared to have to do a little bit of PVP, but the guards are at level with you, so it's not actually that hard. Back in the day, fun fact, there used to be a boat that took you over here that you could just like sit on and the boat would take you, but no, not anymore. We got to actually go through a portal. Boo. Now, once you've made it through this portal again, make sure that you remember you're going to end up fighting again. So just make sure that you are just prepared to end up going after any of the NPCs that are here. This will end up putting you into war mode. So if there are any high level alliance on the other side of this that just happen to be real people and not NPCs, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> But once all of that is done, go ahead and just wander around the Isle. If you've never been here, it's actually quite a fun zone. I enjoy questing on it. I don't like Blood Mist Isle just because there's something about the red hue of that area just kind of bothers me. I kind of wish it was a little bit greener. I don't know. But go ahead and wander around the Isle. Find your gray moths. Fill up your bags full of them. They are fun little things to end up having with you. And that's it. That's how you get the gray moth for yourself. Again, I know you could just create a level one character and come out here and do it yourself instead of having to bring your horde character out. But sometimes it's fun to just do the late work. Why not? I mean, what else are you going to do with your free time? What? Adult things? Psh, no, you can't make me. Uh... But anywho, hopefully you come out here and get a gray moth for yourself. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make battle pet videos every week and I would love to have you here as part of the growing channel. Well, as always, I will see you in the next battle pet video. Bye for now.